self-confessed difficult woman, Renee Geyer forged an unlikely career. I'm a white and Hungarian Jew from Australia, sounding like a, you know, 65-year-old black man from Alabama. Gaya was the daughter of a Holocaust survivor, her parents meeting in Palestine before shifting to Melbourne, where she was born. We grew up in a Jewish migrant hostel, so all the high holidays were upheld. After leaving school early, Gaya quickly found her feet in the music industry, first with Sydney band Sun, what you want, baby, I got it. then with Mother Earth, where her R&B talent shone. I decided now to stick to what I do best, concentrate on it and work on it and get that really good. It's a man's world. Her fame ignited with her now iconic James Brown cover. Renee Gaya, it's a man's man's world. In Australia, she attracted the attention of Michael Gadinsky and his Mushroom Records label. She also worked in the US, collaborating with Motown producer Frank Wilson and recording with the likes of Stevie Wonder and Shaka Khan. I sang on that solo record of Sting's, uh, Together Tonight. We'll be together tonight. While her solo career never took off in the States, Renee Gaya found significant fame at home. This is a present to you. Four. Oh my God. A gold record. In 2005, she was inducted into the ARIA Hall of Fame. Thank you. Four years later, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And in 2011, avoided conviction after pleading guilty to careless driving while on breast cancer medication. Then in 2017, appeared in court again, pleading guilty to racially abusing a hotel receptionist. Renee Geyer was open about struggling with addiction. Once you have an addiction, you always will be a struggler. She described herself as a music industry survivor and continued to sell out shows until the end. It became evident that showbiz is in my blood and I am born to this because the, the, the audience fed me. Where am I?